So here we have some of the projects that a colleague Julian and I were working on during the 90s. First of all, a lead matrix display, then a fruit machine, and then MIDI analyzer. And there's a couple of other projects that I worked on as well. Now Julian and I were lucky to have three of our projects featured on the front cover of Every Day with Practical Electronics in the 90s starting off with the matrix display in May 94 followed by the fruit machine in the December which was one of our favourite projects and then finally almost two years later the MIDI analyzer in May 96. Now to accompany the articles that we wrote uh, we made up these technical manuals and basically they just had all these scripts for the article but also included diagrams, circuit diagrams, flow charts, everything that you needed to know to publish the article and there was also some correspondence with the uh, editor there. Let's have a look at the MIDI analyzer by itself. As you can see it was made from a standard uh, black Vero box with a cutout in the front panel to accommodate the 40x2 uh, LCD alpha numeric display. Uh, on the right here was a button to scroll through the four displays and that's basically all the controls there were. On the back was just a MIDI through socket and a MIDI in socket which were the characteristic five pin DINs and a nice circular on off switch. If I actually turn the unit on you can see the display. Um, that's the main display. It shows various parameters of MIDI like note on, note off, uh, touch control, uh, pitch bend, uh, all that sort of thing. And then if I scroll through to the next one, there's the key velocity and after touch, and then channel number, and finally just the keys. So basically the white keys would get reversed out when you played a key on the keyboard, and the black keys would go white. Okay, so let's have a look inside. Basically it was powered from 6 volts, 4 AAs. Um, there was a pot for adjusting the LCD contrast. But essentially there were just two chips. The PIC16C71, which is a very early PIC microcontroller. And the CMY17-3 Opto-Isolator. And the rest is just standard MIDI circuitry. Uh, two PCB mounting DIN sockets. Uh, on-off switch and the cabling loom which went to the LCD at the front which was glued on via Arrodite. If we have a quick look at the circuit diagram here the MIDI in socket was totally isolated from the rest of the circuit via the LED in the opto between pins 1 and 2 and the output transistor would drive the interrupt line of the PIC 16C71. So basically all the PIC did was drive the LCD and wait for data to come in on pin 6 which was the MIDI data at 31.25 kilohertz. And all the rest of the circuitry was just standard MIDI circuitry to drive the MIDI through port. Now unfortunately I can't get this MIDI analyzer to work. I've tried all sorts of things and I'm sure it's something minor. It's probably the opto that's just gone. But if we look at the uh, screen um, displays here you can see the sort of things it would display. For instance there's note on which would be E flat in octave 3, the key velocity that's how quickly it was pressed i.e. how loud it would be, uh, there's the program number which is just the patch on the appropriate synth, uh, the channel number which is MIDI channel number which would be 1 to 16, uh, there was an after touch amount which is the where you press the key into the cushion of the um, what's under the key to give it an after touch effect and that was uh, 76 in this case and there would be various other parameters for pitch bend and real time information so if you put a drum machine onto the MIDI analyzer there would be a little chevron to show that the drum machine was outputting real time data. In the second screen you could just see a bar graph of how quickly the key velocity had been activated or the after touch. Channel number quite self-explanatory. If you're using Omni mode you would probably use 
quite a few channels all at once and the keys just as already explained went black if they were pressed down uh, and white up there in the top there. So there it is the MIDI analyzer quite a useful piece of kit for testing out MIDI setups and to make sure all your cabling was correct and that sort of thing.